I don't know if that was recording or not then. Basically, I've had a picnic, just a brief picnic and a rest spot on the Holford Green. Very, very busy. Where I used to park Alberta, packed with people. See, normally, even when I used to come in the summer, I'd be gone all day. And um, by the time I got back, say, seven, eight, all the people and all the families had gone. So that place was always quiet. I used to get there early, get back late. But today was people picnicking. Um, I don't know if they're doing any walking. And there seemed to be an awful lot of people going back down up the, back down the uh, coom. So I thought there was at least 20 people went all together, including children and dogs. I thought they'll all be stopping at the stream to have small children. It wouldn't be a peaceful walk. It's not, it's not, not knocking them, I'm just saying. So I thought, go up to the trees, memorial trees, do that top walk back to the Bicknoller Post. It'll be fine. So I've got a bit of a climb now. It's quite a persistent climb, this one. Um, it does go on quite a way. I've done it loads of times. Con up it, down it. But I did feel a bit sad sat there. I sat there where once I saw Jude and Stuart sat. I know it was them. They didn't respond. Maybe they didn't realise it was me and I wasn't quite sure to... After I'd passed, I kept looking and I thought, is that Jude and Stuart? You know, I couldn't really tell. I think it was, it was a time when Jude went well. I'd never have ignored them. Anyway, I always remember that image in my mind of these of them sitting on that bench. So uh, today the the target was Holford Green. I did manage to get that bench. Fortunately, because there's everybody, a lot of people sitting out in the sun. So I was able to sit there for a little while and have my cheese. Oh, it's a little dog. Every night, a minute. Right. I didn't video coming up this hill because I was, uh, because I carry in the park. Um, I had a rest in there, cooled down in the, the memorial tree area. Took some photos of the scenes all around. But I didn't video coming up the very steep bit. It was quite a, it was quite hard actually today. I don't think it can be anything to do with a new bag because I carry this, what I've got on me now, I carry anyway in the butt bag. I carry exactly the same. Food, water. Um, I've got waterproof bottoms, a rain top, I haven't got the umbrella. No, it was just, it was warm today. And I just eaten cheese. Always gives me a suggestion. Anyway, any of you who follow my videos will know where we are. I'm on the lower track. There is another one that goes up to the top there. Back there we've got Hinkley Point. I'll just zoom in again. Ooh, they do a bit of work and they slow it down. Don't know what's happening at the moment. They were carrying on with COVID. They had one of their silos collapse the other week. Um, where was it? Where are the silos? Those things there. I, I don't know if it was dangerous. I think it was concrete more than anything. I don't think it was anything to do with the reactors. Because the reactors are the dome shaped things there. See that silver dome? And that one, I believe those are the reactors. Those silos are for something, but I don't think there's anything radioactive in there. 
Of course, I've been, um, that's a Hinkley bit A, the blue ones, I think. And there's Hinkley B, I think that's the one I've been in. I've been in there, I've been right over the reactor in the gallery. There's Dobra Hill Fort there, Iron Age Hill Fort. Holford's down there. The sea, Mendip Hills, where I live right over there, long way off. Got to do a bus and a train to get home. And a walk. Well, I don't mind, this has been well worth it. I, I'm just so thrilled I could get out here. I know how to get out here now. I know it's a bit fingers crossed thing. I just hope they pick me up on the way back. I don't know what's going to happen if they don't. So a lot of people suddenly want to get on that bus on the way back. I don't know why you don't put double decker on. To be quite honest, that's a main route. They put a double decker on Sand Bay and you only get one person on it ever. People come in. Right, just past the people with three lovely Jack Russells. They've gone by. There's some over there and higher hair nap. There's um, sheep and people and cows. Cows are all sat down as if it's going to rain. Yeah. Figure the cows are oh, getting up now. People up the top on the corn. That's higher hair nap. I've got that on lots of my videos. And down there is the valley I came along, beautiful Holford Valley that I walked along earlier. But uh, because this is all unknown to me and normally you don't have a worry about not getting on a bus. So uh, we just have to keep our fingers crossed. Yeah, there were some hikers on the on the bus falling asleep, so maybe they've already done a lot of hiking and they're catching up sleep when they're on the bus. It's like a hiker's bus this morning, really. It's so common now for people to want to do it. A lot of women on their own as well. I mean, they might be meeting up with others. There's a lot of people do do it on their own, you know. I mean, once you don't feel too bad once you get to the campsite. You usually bump into people en route. As long as you get stuck with a nut, you're all right, innit? Or someone who don't stop talking like me. You're all right, ain't you? Anyway, this is a... Uh, is it hurdling or hurling when they set light to the bracken? There's all those tick webs. Yeah. Yeah, the last, I did this walk on the 10th of January this year, 2020, in the winter, it was winter. And uh, I'd already been out on a big hike and thought I wanted to go back up the coon for one more time. I didn't know if I'd be able to get out again. So I came back on this track. There were ponies and everything here. And instead of going all the way to Bicknoller Post, I decided to go down that coombe that I'd never been down. That's where I seen all the deer. 
It was lovely. See, I'm at the moment, I'm still a bit wanting to get moving because there's a big coom to go down once I get a bit knoller. There's a big coom to go down. So basically, there's a lot of hours to do and I've got a, not many hours to spare. Because normally I stand here for ages using my eyes and I usually pick out a deer with my naked eye and then I zoom in with the lens. But because I'm worried about time and everything like that, because this is um this is a new experience. I've got a this is the first time I've done this train and bus uh, in this way and on this particular route. I used to do train and Bridgewater. Bridgewater don't do no buses. They don't want people from Bridgewater getting out in the hillside. This, if you ask me, that's what it is. You know, it's, it's, it's absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe it. There's no bus service from Bridgewater to Minehead. I just can't believe it. It's a main road. There's villages all the way along it. It's absolutely stupid. So my route, new route is uh, Western, Taunton, bus from Taunton to whichever village I want to get off on this side. Now that I've seen that I can do that. Another time, you see, I don't always have to go to Holford every time. I probably won't. I might sometimes do that. Hire her up and come back round. Or do it that way round. Today, I had to go there because I couldn't go to the spot where me and Alberta used to park on this occasion. Because it was packed with people. No one's, all the kids are at school say no children have been going to school. Not many. And uh, no, a lot of parents haven't been working. Covid. Furloughed. So people have been, those that can afford it and got a car and can put petrol in it, have been coming out with their children. Or couples coming out. Because you feel trapped. There's a lot of people having mental health problems over this. We all feel trapped. There's a lot of trapping going on. Like I said, I can't hunt for deer. I, I bet I'd find them. I just... Today is a recce. That means we're sussing it out. Sussing the time. Um, the next time I come here, I will not be doing Weecombe. Might go back that way if I, if I allow for the time, but I'm do not doing it as a starter. Right, over and out, everyone, for a minute.